Hi, my name is Frank Morrison, and I'm an illustrator. I've illustrated over 50 picture books. And the book that I'm illustrating right now that we're going to talk about is George Washington Carver in the Secret Garden. I get a lot of manuscripts on my desk. And um, and so I, I have to I have to choose. Like I, you know, get these great stories. And um, and I had previously did a book with Gene, and we did a book called, with Ali. And so when he wrote this book about George Washington Carver, it was interesting to see his whole life stories. Like I was watching a TV show like Biography or something like that, and I'm um, getting to read this story. And I said, Wow, I would I think that this would be a great story that children can just see and be able to re-associate uh, yourself with these ideas and this, you know, agricultural uh, genius that we had called George Washington Carver. It takes about a hundred drawings to be able to get them to work on the picture books. First thumbnail sketches, then you have to do colonial drawings, then you have to do almost like a black and white drawings. And so it takes a lot of processing in that point. And I use, you know, I use illustration board and I think I use, I think I use a canvas for the cover, but uh, my medium is oil on canvas or oil on illustration boards. Normally I do spray paint, but I couldn't get away with putting graffiti in this one. I think this is great to document history in the style I use, which is uh, mannerism. You know, uh, Al Hirschfeld had that elongated style. I feel like it gives it a chance for someone that's in art to see what I do and see my technique. It's a big difference between holding the book in your hand and uh, seeing it online and then being able to see it in person. And you get to see all the brush strokes and you get to turn that head to the light and see where the, where the texture is coming off the page. And then all these little secrets that went into making this creation, you know? And I think that's, there's nothing like going to a museum and you can't replace a book holding that in your hand. You know, who can replace that, man? That's just, some of these are like uh, the first time a child would see themselves in work, or this could be their museum themselves. This is their art gallery. Some of their first art galleries and their first pictures is through picture books.